Welcome to the podcast for and about Colorado Springs. I'm your host, Brittany Felix, and every Monday through Friday, I'll be talking about a different aspect relating to the Springs, including upcoming events, restaurant reviews, local business spotlights, media coverage about the Springs, public works projects, local activities, answering your questions about the city, and much, much more. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast so you don't miss any of the updates. And also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find links to all of those social media accounts at springspodcast.com forward slash social media. You're listening to episode zero. As you heard in the introduction, my name is Brittany Felix, and I'm creating this episode to essentially act as the equivalent of an about me page on a website. I'm going to let you know a little bit about who I am and also what this podcast is going to be about. So first off, I'm a 30-year-old woman. My husband and I are originally from Indiana, and we visited the Springs for the first time in August of 2015. We came for the first annual Tiny House Jamboree. We do have a little bit of an obsession with tiny houses, and we instantly fell in love with this city. We loved everything about it, the climate, the location, the proximity to the mountains, how much there is to do here in the city, and a variety of different things. And so when we got back home, we realized that we wanted to make a change in our life. We wanted to travel for a little while and then eventually settle down here in Colorado Springs, which is exactly what we proceeded to do for the rest of the year following. In spring of 2016, we both quit our corporate jobs, which were the highest paying we had ever had at the time, sold our 2,000 square foot house in Indiana, and took off on a road trip that lasted over two months in our RV where we visited national parks throughout the western United States. We eventually settled here in Colorado Springs in the fall of 2016 and have not regretted it for a single second. We are still just as much, if not even more, in love with the city now that we are residents here. One thing that I realized, and I'm sure if you're listening to this, you have realized it as well, whether you're a local or a transplant like I am, there are a lot of people moving to the Springs constantly. So I want to use this podcast as a resource for not only the people already living here, but for the people considering moving here. I want to make sure that people come to this city well-informed. I want them to know what the city is really like as a resident. I want them to know what they're getting into and what they're going to like and maybe what they won't like. But I also want to make sure the residents of the city are taken care of. So I'm going to be talking about events that are going on around the town, review local restaurants, spotlight local businesses, talk about what's going on politically or with public works projects. Basically, just make sure the residents are informed and that the future residents also have enough knowledge to make a solid decision on whether or not they actually want to move here. So the format of the show, I'm going to try and keep the episodes between about 10 and 15 minutes long, super quick, Monday through Friday. Each day is going to have a different theme, and I may change these themes as time goes on, as things evolve, as I figure out what works, what doesn't, what you guys want to hear. That's going to be the most crucial thing is for feedback from you, the listeners of this podcast. I want to know what you want to hear more about, what you don't want to hear about. And there are a lot of ways to connect with me, and I'll talk about that at the end of the episode. But for right now, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is have a day where I'm going to talk about the upcoming events, basically give a breakdown of what's happening, who's putting the event on, the location, the date, the time, all of the necessary information. Another day will obviously be spent on reviewing a local restaurant. So this will be a place that I'll have personally gone to, I'll have taken pictures, I'll have tried something on the menu, and I'll have some feedback to give. I'm going to do my absolute best to avoid chain restaurants. If they are chain, I at least want them to be regional or local chains, so maybe businesses that only have restaurants in Colorado Springs and a couple of surrounding cities. No well-known national chains. You can find those anywhere. I don't really care about those. I want to talk about what's available here in the Springs that you're not going to find anywhere else or at least very few places. I'm also going to occasionally spotlight local businesses here in the city, and I'm going to focus on small, independently owned businesses, or again, very small chains. I want to feature the people that are doing good for the city and taking care of its residents and are not just here to make money, but to make a true impact. 
So if you yourself are a local business owner and you would like to be featured in one of these episodes, reach out to me in one of the ways that I mentioned at the end of this episode and we can discuss that further and figure out how you can be spotlighted. I'm also going to spend some time talking about Colorado Springs in the media. So talking about different top 10 lists that we may be featured in or different articles about the city that gets posted, especially in nationwide publications, just so we can find out how our city is being represented to everyone else outside of the Springs. And I am going to also feature a day where I answer questions about the town. So these are going to be at first questions that I had in doing our own research and in moving here, things that I just needed to learn more about personally. And if I had the question, I'm willing to bet someone else does. So I'm going to focus on providing answers to some common questions that anyone looking to move to Colorado Springs or having just recently moved here are probably going to want to know as well. But eventually, I would really like this to be listener submitted questions. So if you have any questions at all about the city, go ahead and submit those to me and I'm going to try and do the research and find the answer for you. So there are a couple of different ways that you can reach out to me. I, of course, have a contact page on my website, which is springspodcast.com. And then I also have accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can reach out on any of those platforms and you can find links to all of those by simply going to springspodcast.com forward slash social media. If you want to learn even more about me, you can find out a whole wealth of information on my other podcast that has been live since February 2016, where I documented our own journey of location independence and travel and settling down here in the Springs. And I also do weekly interviews with people who have left behind a traditional lifestyle in order to travel full time. So that podcast is called Living Unconventionally. You can find it on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music, anywhere that you can find this podcast, basically. Or you can also find it at livinguncoventionally.com. Thank you so much for checking this podcast out. And I cannot wait to have you along on the journey as we really get this thing going. 